हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट आई एम मिसेस जय श्री शीतल कुमार कामले असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ जोलॉजी सीके ठाकुर कॉलेज न्यू पनवेल इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ माइटोसिस व्हिच इज फ्रॉम पेपर टू यूनिट वन सेल बायोलॉजी बिफोर गोइंग टू टेक द इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट द माइटोसिस वी शुड नो द डेफिनेशन ऑफ माइटोसिस Mitosis is a process where a single cell divide into two identical daughter cell that are genetically identical to itself as we know cell consist of many cellular organelles all the cell organelles whenever it is divide equally into two daughter cell that process is called as a mitosis it is actually a cell division the term mitosis derive from the greek word mitos that means wrap the thread the term mitosis coined by walder fleming in 1882 it is also known as equational cell division because the chromosome number in the parent cell and the daughter cell is the same that means what it is exactly divide the cell into two part for example human cell as we know human cell consist of 46 chromosome whenever the human cell is dividing it each of the daughter cell will contains the 46 number of chromosome mitosis is carried out into the somatic cell it is never carried out into the sex cell that is a sperm and ovum crossing over and recombination also does not occur in this process now this mitosis it is divided into some phases there are total four phases prophase metaphase anaphase and telophase but before entering into all these mitotic phase cell has to pass from the interphase so interphase it is a type of a resting phase this phase it is also a preparatory phase where the cell prepare itself for the next mitotic cell the interphase is also consist of a three sub phases that is g1 phase then s phase and g2 phase g1 phase it is also called as a gap one phase it is the period before the synthesis of dna is takes place second phase that is the s phase that is a synthesis phase that is the phase during which dna synthesis takes place not only dna but other cell cellular organelles al also they are synthesized in s phase the third phase is g2 phase or it is also called as a gap 2 phase this phase is between the end of dna synthesis and the beginning of the prophase now after immediately the g2 phase the cell enters into the mitotic phase as i told you that mitosis or mitotic phase consist of of four phases let us see one by one the first phase is a prophase now in the prophase whatever the chromosome they are condenses into x shaped structure before entering into the prophase the chromosome it is in the form of a long thread so to fit that long chromosome into a short nucleus that chromosome should be condensed so hence in the prophase the chromosomes get condensed and they can fit into the short space of nucleus further the pairing of chromosome is carried out same number of chromosomes are paired with each other and start aligning with each other the nuclear membrane before prophase is a intact membrane now it start dissolving then afterward the formation of mitotic spindle then microtubules and related proteins are start to form after the prophase the stem goes into the metaphase in the metaphase the aligned chromosome they lie at the equator of the cell or you can say the chromosome line up neatly end to end along the center the centriole which is already formed in the prophase then randomly goes to the each of the opposite pole 
and the spindle fiber which are formed here they are attached to the centromere of the chromosome and start pulling this sister chromatic to the respective pole now the cell goes into the anaphase already the chromosome which are at the equator they are pulled by means of a spindle fiber and with the help of centriole to the respective pole the sister chromatid are pulled apart by the mitotic spindle which pull one chromatid to one pole and the other chromatid to the opposite pole after the anaphase the cell goes into the next stage that is called as a telophase in the telophase there is a gathering of full set of chromosome at each pole of the cell is carried out now new nuclear membrane is formed around each set of chromosome simultaneously there is a pinching of single parent cell in the middle to form two daughter cells and hence the two daughter cells are start separating from each other so at the end of this telophase the two daughter cells are formed so in this way the mitosis is carried out with the help of four phases that means prophase metaphase anaphase and telophase so from a single parent cell at the end of mitosis two daughter cells are formed now let us see the significance of mitosis mitosis is responsible for the development of the zygote into an adult it is consist of equal distribution of the chromosome to each daughter cell it is also responsible for the growth and development of an individual it maintains the constant number of chromosome it is required for a sexual reproduction vegetative propagation in plants it also helps in maintaining the purity of the genome as no recombination or crossing over takes place it is responsible for the repair and regeneration of old and damaged cells in animals that means ex gut epithelium blood cells etc so in all total the mitosis is required for the development of an organism so that's all about the mitosis i hope you like the video thank you